Hey everyone, I thought I would walk you through the AutoCAD web app and drawing the angle spacer that you've got to do. Uh, it's a real simple process, but there are some little tricks involved. So I'm going to show you how to do it. You know, as I've told you before, I'm working out of my Google Drive. This is important because this is the only way you're going to be able to share it. You can't take it from AutoCAD web app mobile. So you need to be working out of your Google Drive. If you haven't done so, add storage provider and add the Google Drive and then click on Google Drive, okay? And then that way you can get into it. I've already created a folder called inside of my Google Drive that I called AutoCAD Web App, and then I've uploaded into that folder. I did this now outside of the Web App. You can't do this in the Web App. I uploaded my template inches. So I'm going to click on it. It's going to open. And now, as you notice, I've, I'm drawing in the layer object which is what I want to be drawing in. Now, right now, my layers are not colored. We may do this later, but right now I'm going to leave them the way they are, okay? So the angle spacer is three inches by two inches. I'm going to start, you can either draw it with a line or you can draw it with a rectangle, either one. Let's go ahead and use the uh, line command. And we click and drag out, it's three inches long. Drag up, two inches tall. Back over, three inches and back down too. You could have done the same thing using the rectangle command. Now, notice what happens. When I'm done, it says confirm placement. Read what's happening on the screen. So I'm gonna click check, and now I've got a clean command line again, which is great, that's what you want. So now I've got the cut off corners on this. I've got this corner cut off here, and it measures from this end, one and three fourths inches in, and it measures from this corner up one and a quarter. Well, I don't have a champ for command, so how can I do that? Well, watch. I'm going to go to line. I'm going to cl not click, but I'm going to hover and drag this way. And I'm going to type in for my start point. Notice it says first point down at the bottom of the screen, 1.75 inches over. I did not click. I just hovered and started moving that way. I'm going to draw a line there and say confirm. So... The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw another line. I'm going to hover here, and I'm going to drag up, and it's going to be 1.25 inches up from the bottom. And I'm going to draw me a line here. I'm going to hit confirm again. So now there's the two endpoints of my line. Now I can just do the line command, click here, drag over, click here, hit confirm. What I'm doing is I'm right-clicking, and that confirm box pops up, okay? So there's that. Now this, I can click on this line, left click, hit delete on my keyboard, click here, hit delete, and it's gone. So I need to trim these back. That's under modify. So I go to trim, and notice what it says, select object to trim. What I can do here, this is kind of neat. Watch what I can do. I can either hover over it and it shows me what it's going to trim, or I can actually mash my left button down and draw a line across both of them and get them both at one time. It's pretty cool, isn't it? Okay, so there's that corner done. Now, when I'm done, click Confirm Selection and it gets you out. Okay? Now, I need to cut this corner off. It's three quarters this way, and from the bottom up, it's one and a half. So, I'm going to go back to my Draw command, click on Line. I'm going to hover, drag out, and I'm going to type in 0.75, and I'm going to draw me a line. I'm going to hit Confirm. I right-click to get to that little box, you know, or I could have done it down here. I'm going to go right back into line command. I can either click on it or I can right click and say repeat last command. Notice it says line, specify first point. Hover, drag up. This one is one and a half inches up from the bottom. Drag over, hit confirm again. Now I need a line between them. So I'm going to go to line, click, click, and I'm going to go confirm placement. Or I could right click and just hit confirm. Either one's fine. Now I'm going to click on this line and say delete. Click on this line, say delete. Now I'm going to trim again, so I'm going to go back to modify, trim. And again, this time I'm going to click, and I'm going to click. I'm not going to draw my line, just to show you how to do it both ways. Okay, so there's that. Now I need this cut out here. Back to line, click on line. I'm going to hover here. It's up a quarter of an inch, so I'm going to hover and start dragging up, and then type in 0.25, drag over. It's three-fourths of an inch deep. It's a half inch tall, and then go back over. I'm going to right-click and say confirm. Now I need to trim that little line out there. So I go back to modify, trim, and click there. And then hit confirm selection. Okay? So there's that. The only thing I've got left to do is put my circle on here. Okay? So my circle is one inch in from here the center is, and one inch up is my center. The best way to do that is to draw a line. 
So I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to hover, drag over, say one inch. That's my start point. Up one inch. There it is. There's my center point. Hit confirm. Now I can go to circle. Now if you notice, this one's in diameter. Now I can click here and drag out and say a half inch radius because that's what the circle's in. But I can hit. I want to click on my center point And notice here, I can either do radius, which is doing that, or I can click here and do diameter, which is what I want. One inch and hit enter. There it is. Okay. So there's the thing drawn. Now this line, I'm not going to delete it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it. I'm going to drag this point up to here to the quadrant. I'm going to drag this point up here to the quadrant. Okay. I'm going to hit escape. Now I'm going to click on it again. I didn't have to hit escape, but I did. I'm going to drag out. And notice right now that line's one inch long. If I drag out a quarter of an inch, it's going to be 1.25. Now, if I click here and drag out, it's 1.25 now. I'm going to drag down. I want it to be 1.5 because I want it a half in, a quarter of an inch longer both ways. This is still, now, if you look at it, if I click on this, if I come over here, this is still on the object layer. See, it's on properties now. I want this on center. So I'm going to click on center. And then I'm going to hit escape. And now look at it. It's the center line. Now, I want this. I want one going the opposite way. I'm going to go to modify and go to mirror. And I'm going to mirror this line. I'm going to select it. I'm going to hit enter and say confirm. I'm going to pick the midpoint. And now here's the thing. If I've got this thing set to 90 degrees, if I've got my object snap settings, if I go to settings and I go to tracking, if yours is set on 90, which it should be, it won't let you mirror this the way you want it to. You need to change this increment to 45. So I'm going to go to 45. Now it'll snap to 45 degrees. And I'm going to click. Do I want to delete the source object? No, I want to keep it. And there is my drawing done. Now, remember, I'm still drawing on my template inches. This is bad. I shouldn't have done that. What I should have done is I should have done a save as immediately, but I can still do it. Save as, okay? It's got it in the right folder. Now I'm going to call it angle spacer and T-clip. Remember, I want you to name it both, okay? And I'm going to hit save. So there's that one done. Now you can come over here beside it and draw the T-clip. And then you'll download it to the Dropbox. That's how you do these drawings. Okay, it's pretty simple using this AutoCAD web app. But I wanted to show you that so you would know how to do it. You can watch this video as often as you need, or you can give me a call if you need help. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.